Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on a new palette from Morphe that I have very definite opinions about. If you want to see what those opinions are, keep watching. So the palette that I'm going to be talking about today is the 35G Bronze Gold Palette. This palette retails for $25 and you can pick it up at Morphe.com. If you have a Morphe store close to you, you can pick it up there and it is also available at Ulta. I wanted to pick this palette up because for one, the packaging is completely amazing and different than their black packaging when you open it up and I've already taped the names to the top it screams bronzy summer gorgeousness and I just knew that like the colors are right up my alley and it was something that I would get a lot of use out of however I have used this palette once and I have also tried to swatch this palette this is the most densely packed, hard to swatch and get on your brush palette that I have ever used from Morphe, which to me is a drawback. Like I kind of wouldn't recommend this palette to anybody. Like I have um, seen some gorgeous looks and I am sure that I, I can get some gorgeous looks from this palette, but I am used to their sort of shimmers being real buttery and like spread across the lid easy. They even swatch easily. And that is not the case with some of the shadows in this palette. So I did want to come and do, and I know people don't like these because it's not really representative of, of how the product is on your eye, but I did want to show some finger swatches of this palette. So you know when, so you know how they kind of swatch with the finger. Even when I applied them with my brush on my lids, I didn't get that much payoff. I had to go back and keep reapplying and reapplying. So we will show you which the which colors are good and which colors are potentially going to give you some trouble from this palette. So we are going to start with this top row here. And the first one I am going to show you is called Glare. And Glare is... Glare feels pretty um, buttery and this is what the swatch looks like. The second one is a matte which would be a good transition color for some would be a good sort of eye base setting product for other people and you can see it's almost my same skin tone. This is the shade Sandy and the mattes for the most part are amazing so I have no complaints about Sandy. I would use Sandy to set my um, eye primer or if I put concealer on my eyes, I would use it to set the concealer. The next one is called Glow On. And this is um, um, another one that sort of disappointed me. And you can barely see it on my hand. I am used to these things popping up like multi Morphe shadows popping up very well on my hand. I can barely see this one. And this is what's like dipping my finger in it twice. I am sure if you put it on your lids with a brush, you can potentially like pack it on and you'd be able to see it and it would look really pretty, but it might require some work. The next one is called Island Life. And it feels pretty creamy when you dip your finger into it. But this is what Island Life looks like. The next one is another matte, and this is called Deserted. And Deserted is up here, so I will probably use this to start building up my crease. I think that that one is pretty. The next one is called Paradise, and I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have not swatched, swatched Paradise yet, so this will be my first time swatching. And it looks pretty promising, yeah. So this is this one right here is what I'm used to from Morphe, not these down here. 
This one at the top is beautiful. This is Paradise. And then the last one on this row is a matte and it is called Toasted. And we'll swatch that one right here. Toasted is pretty also. No problems with the mattes at all. This is Toasted. And I think the whole top row would make a pretty look by itself. This is the next row here that I'm going to be swatching. Really pretty colors. The first one is called Tropics. I have high hopes for Tropics. I have not swatched that one yet. Um, no. Like it feels creamy, but it's not building up to really anything. It is... Let me even come close so you can kind of see it. And we'll swatch it a third time. Yeah, no. That is what Tropics looks like. Really pretty color in the pan, but not showing up on my skin. The next one is called Poolside, and it feels good under my finger. And this one I like. This is the quality that I'm used to from Morphe. The next one is called Copper Cabana. And, I mean, it could be a little bit better. But this is what Copper Cabana looks like here. The next one I'm going to swatch is a matte. And it's called Naked, N-E-K-K-E-D, Naked. I like that name. And that is what Naked looks like. I really like that one. I would put that one in my crease as well. The next one here feels really good under my finger. And I think it's going to swatch well. Yes, gorgeous. This one is called For Sure, S-H-O-R-E. And that's right here. That is gorgeous. The next one is like a deeper sort of, um, do I want to, this one feels very firmly packed when I touch it. And this one is called Hotness. Hotness swatches okay. But it's feel, it feels like one of those ones that is really firmly packed. And then the last one in this um, row is called Triple Digit. And I'm going to swatch that one right here. And it is right here. Um, just okay. Alright, so we're going to go with the middle row here, the third row. And that is this row here. And some of these I have swatched and before I even touch it for this video, you will see this one right in the middle, which is one of the ones I like the most. And um, it started, if you can see this way, trying to hard pan on me, which pissed me off. The first one I am going to shop to shop swatch for you is called Hey Vacay. And it feels like one of those ones that are densely packed. And it is not swatching very well at all. You can barely see it on my finger. And I am really like trying, y'all. I really am. Like, this is swatched three times. Like, I stuck my finger into this one three times to get this color payoff. The next one close to it is amazing. And it is a matte. And this is nice and creamy. And this one is called Record Temps. And Record Temps is right there. And that one is really pretty. I would use that one like in the outer V or to deepen my crease. The next one here feels kind of creamy under my finger. And it is called Stunning. And Stunning is really nice. Um, the next one that I'm going to swatch is that one that I told you was hard panning on me. And it is called, wait a minute, I missed something. Oh, Sunning, not Stunning. This one is called Summer Vibes. And we'll swatch it one more time. It can be built up, but it is not the most amazing sort of metallicness that I am used to from Morphe. But that is called Summer Vibes. And I am sure you can build it up to gorgeous, but it'll take some work, being honest. The next one is called Bronze Out. And up at the top, that is what Bronze Out looks like. And the next one is called SPF. SPF, I think I really like. And it is right here. 
And then the last one in this row is called Sexy Beach. And I think that might be the best one in this row. It is this one up here. I only had to swatch this one one time, whereas the other ones I had to swatch two or three times. So up at the top, where my knuckles are, that is Sexy Beach. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this fourth row here. My eye is going to this color here, and I think I'm really gonna like that one. The first one, though, that I am gonna swatch for you is called Soul. And as I'm putting my finger in it, I think that it is gonna be one of those ones that might hard pan on you. But it is gorgeous. That is Soul. The next one is called So Golden. And So Golden is hard painting as I'm swatching it. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Let me get a brush and see. All right, so I grabbed just an e.l.f. brush. And I just want to go into it to see. And this one is, one more time, So Golden. And it is trying to hard pan on me. And oh my God, I'm so irritated. That is what you can't, I mean, that is what it's looking like with a brush. And you can see here that, yeah, it's trying to hard pan on me. If I put it that way, it's like blinding, like different from the other ones. It is definitely trying too hard paying on me I am going to scrape that top layer off just with my fingernail all right and you can see that I kind of scraped it off here and we'll use this brush one more time and I went back over that swatch that was on my hand and this is what it looks like. Mind you, this brush is slightly wet, but this is what it looks like with a slightly wet brush. And it can be sort of built up. Wet your brush for that one, FYI. But once again, it is trying to hard pan on me. The next color that I'm going to swatch is called Rays, R-A-Y-S. And that is what rays looks like. The next one is sort of a deep color and it's called roasting. Roasting looks like it's going to be gorgeous. It's sort of like a deep sort of coffee brown and maybe that's why they called it roasting. Still does not really swatch as well as I thought, but it is still pretty. The next one is that um that matte one that I told you I had high hopes for and it's called tan up and this is what tan up looks like it's a little dry and it does come onto your hand kind of powdery and a little streaky but that is tan up it may be completely different once you put it on your lid the next one is called beach mood and this is a sort of satin and we'll put it right by tan up. And it's pretty. It's really pretty. I like that one. This is one of the better ones in the palette. And then the last one is also a matte. And it's also a drier formula. This one is called Heat Wave. And Heat Wave is gorgeous. Might be a little bit patchy. But Heat Wave is gorgeous. We're going to go now with the last row. With all of the deeper colors in it. The first one I am going to swatch, I have not swatched before, and this one is called Solstice. And my fingers are kind of moist, so I'll just let you know that up front. And this one is Solstice, and this one is kind of pretty. It kind of looks like another color in here, though. This one is swatch up under here. No, it's slightly different. Ignore this one. We'll wipe it off. So this one is Solstice. But it does look similar for something else in the palette. The next one is called 101 Degrees. And that one is pretty. I'm happy with that one. The one beside that one is called Tantalize. And that one is beautiful. That's one swatch. And decent color payoff. The next one to that one is a dark deep matte and this is called Equator. 
and equator is very nice right here next to that this is a dark color with a little bit of micro glitter in it and this one is called burnt and it's right here and as I swatch it on my hand you can see a little bit of the glitter but you can probably put this in your crease without fearing that you'll have a bunch of glitter fallout the next one to that one is called night dip and it's sort of a kind of shimmery blue black matte and this one is gorgeous I think because I think this one has micro glitter in it too so when I show it to you it doesn't look deeply dark but that first swatch was really pretty it is a nice it was this is like um this was two swatches but that first one came out pretty good and then the last one is a matte black and whew, let's watch that one here this is a decent black matte i mean it's not like I don't want to compare it to another brand, but I have had better, but I think this one be really good in sort of um, deepening the color on the outer V or doing a smoky eye. I think this one will be really, really pretty. So that is the last of the swatches, and that is the 35G Bronze Gold. I keep saying Bronze Gold. Bronze Gold Palette. That is how it swatches. It is. In quality is not as good I don't know if they did like a formula change just for this palette but the quality is not as good as some of the other palettes that they've come out with recently like the 35 V and the 35 M and even like the Jaclyn Hill this is not that quality at all the colors are beautiful but the colors are going to require some work to build them up and make them look really good on your eyes that is what i think once again it is 25 dollars. i say catch it maybe it'll be going on sale i don't know catch it on sale or you can probably go in back into an old like some old like the 35 o and some other of the older um morphe palettes and sort of dupe some of these shades in here i feel like you could completely skip this palette if you wanted to that is my completely honest opinion although i mean i'm happy to have it because i like the colors but i did not imagine that this palette would be so hard to work with that's my opinion thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye